Uh, our first guest is an award-winning actor who currently stars in Fox's hit drama 24. Let's watch him as the intense CIA agent Jack Bauer. Please welcome Kiefer Sutherland. Thank you. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you very much. You look great. Thank you. You always look great, though. Uh, listen, I, I just, I've always called you Kiefer Sutherland, mm -hmm. but that's not your full name, is it? No. No, my full name is Kiefer William Frederick Dempsey George Rufus Sutherland. That's, is that on your, or your birth certificate? Is that it's on my birth certificate and one passport. And about half of it is on my green card, but they ran out of room, so they just... Now, why on my green card, I think it's Kiefer William Frederick De. Yeah. De. <laughs> De. They ended there, yeah. And now, why do you have so many middle names? Um... Well, when I was younger, I used to just think my father owed a lot of people money. And uh -huh. he used to say, well, I can't pay you now, but I'll name my first kid after you. Yeah. Uh, but, but later, um, Dempsey is my mother's mom's name, mm -hmm. maiden name. Uh, William uh, was just the middle name they had chosen for me. Kiefer William Fre Frederick was my grandfather's first name. <laughs> Frederick Dempsey. George was my father's best friend, and I've never figured out where Rufus came from. Um, they just figured, let's just add one more? Well, my mother didn't know he was doing it. She was actually quite cross with him about it. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't know where Rufus came from either. I think he just liked it. I like Rufus too, yeah. but, but you had plenty of names. That was enough. Yeah, well, <laughs> my mother agrees with you. And is it too late to add Ellen to it, or is it... Uh... No, I can work on that. No. Okay. I can work on that. All right, because you might as well. Kiefer William Frederick Dempsey George Rufus Ellen. Ellen Sutherland. Yeah. It's got a ring. I like it. I think. Or start with Ellen and then add the rest. You okay. Know. <laughs> yeah. That's another way to go. Now, but then everybody just, you've always been called Kiefer? Yeah. Because you went to a, a boarding school, right? I went to St. Andrews College, yeah. At which is, it, it, did you, and you wore a kilt? I wore a kilt, yeah. And uh, it was actually, it's very comfortable clothing. We used to, we, uh, it was kind of a military school. And we had a military band, and we used to do a couple marches in Toronto, and, uh, and then we would march for the Governor General. Um, and traditionally, you don't wear anything under a kilt. You don't wear underwear. Right. And we would march in the summer. It would get very hot, and we'd be in these red tunics. And uh, kids would pass out left, right, and center. And you were always told to go down to your knee, because if you fell backwards and sure. the kilt blew up, it was really embarrassing. <laughs> and it's, uh, it happened a couple times. I watched a couple kids. Uh, you're, pass you're, out and embarrass themselves. You're like taught that. to to faint going down on one knee. Yes, <laughs> yes. They said if you felt a little dizzy, just go down to one knee, and someone will help you out of the line. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's probably a, a that that sounds like a good school, by the way. It was. Um, a, yeah. But but also to to just be prepared like that, I think that's a good way to faint anyway. I agree. Wouldn't I it be? Agree. It 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 uh, lessens the risk of a concussion. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and the, the kilt thing, there's like a, a large purse? pouch thing, right, in front, a purse. Is that what yeah. it is? Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that's to, to keep things keep, all in place. Keep everything down. <laughs> keep everything down. Sporin. It's, uh, it's what? It's called a sporin. A sporin? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but really, because if it's windy, if you don't have something heavy right there. Yeah. 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 And do you keep stuff in the And sporin? for dancing. And for dancing. Yeah. Yeah, just keeps everything in place. <laughs> How far are we going to go with now, this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm questioning that in my head right now. Am I blushing? Yeah. Good. No, you're not. No. no. My ears um, are getting really warm. Real, all right, then let's, let's talk about how good you are on 24 oh, and what a cool show you. that is. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. Um, That's very nice. Thank you. It really yeah. is. Now... The show, it sounds like everybody's aware of the, sh what the, the concept of the show. Every single episode takes place in 24 hours. Yeah. And, uh, it takes place within an hour. Within and an hour, I'm sorry. Is the episode count. Day. Yeah. Well, you're so yeah. good, and the, the acting is so good. Thank and you it's, very much. it's a very uh, intense show to watch. You just, you're constantly wondering what's going to happen next, which yeah. is, is we fun. We do too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because people always say, you know, you've got to tell me what's, what's going to happen. And we don't know. Uh, you know, uh, we only know about a couple episodes ahead of what we're shooting, uh, which is a very different experience for me as an actor because obviously when you're working on a film, everything you do uh, is set up for this ending. Right. And we don't know how it's going to end, so uh, oh, that's that is been fun. challenging, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that is a fun way to... I, I'm, I'm like that here. I have no idea 
what's, uh, <laughs> what's going to happen next.